Hello and welcome again. This is Borahla here. Have you heard of active listening before? The expression active listening is used in three main fields. Counseling and training, business and conflict resolution. In other words, situations where it is extremely important for the listener to fully hear what the other speakers are saying. This is important for professional development as well. For us to really learn from each other and help each other develop professionally, we have to have quality exchanges. For me to respond meaningfully to what you say, I have to have really understood your message. Traditionally, techniques for active listening have been developed for speaking contexts. However, most of them can be applied to our situation. That is, we can use active listening techniques even when we are communicating through written discussion boards. The purpose of using active listening in our discussion boards is to help others gain insight and to help ourselves practice giving feedback, offering suggestions, clarifying information, thinking critically, and understanding. These are essential skills for us. We must strive to truly understand what someone is expressing before responding. In what follows, you will find some techniques you can use while reading and responding to discussion boards. Number one, use your full attention to read the posts. When reading, make sure you are not distracted. This includes not listening to the radio, watching television or having other conversations. Try to be fully present when you are reading. Clear your mind and try not to think about other things. If you have difficult time concentrating, try reading out loud. Reflect before responding. Being an active listener requires self-awareness. Before you respond to what someone has written, reflect. Think about your immediate reactions. What judgments are you making? Are your reactions going to be helpful for the person you are responding to? Is it something that needs to be said? Will your response bring greater awareness to the person that posted? Before offering feedback, perhaps clarify the post. Make sure you understood what the other person wrote. Sometimes it is necessary to be careful how you express what you want to say. This may be because you are not sure if you have completely understood what the other person is saying or you are worried that the other person may not be receptive to what you want to say. If it is necessary to clarify what the person has written, try ask questions. For example, are you saying that? I'm not certain I understood. Do you mean... Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Sometimes, it is also appropriate to restate or summarize what you read in your own words. You can introduce your restating or summary of what the other person wrote with these expressions. Let's see if I'm clear about this. So, it sounds to me as if... Let's see if I understand. You... If it seems like an emotional topic, you might want to try. This is what I think I hear you saying. You appear to be feeling... Uh, is there a chance that you... It seems that you... Number four, recognize the emotional side. Sometimes, instead of just repeating what the other person said or wrote, it is helpful to recognize the emotional impact of what they are describing. Some phrases that are helpful and useful for this are... This seems really important to you. You appear to be feeling... Uh, that sounds really frustrating, or exciting, or scary. Offer alternatives. Another way to understand someone is to offer alternatives to what they are saying. For example, 
These may be implications that they understand, but did not say, or they may be implications that they have not thought about yet. When you suggest taking the other person's idea in a new direction, you offer an interpretation that is different from theirs. Number six, share your point of view, knowledge, or experience. You can share information, observations, insights, and experiences. For example, I have also experienced this when your post reminded me of I noticed that Number 7. Request more information Often, when we ask for more information, we can get deeper and more meaningful information and this can make the discussion more meaningful. Or, you may just be curious about their experience and want to know more. In either case, some useful expressions to ask for more information are Can you tell me more about your experience? I am curious about your post. Can you tell me more about? What do you think would happen if you... No matter what technique you use to respond, always remember to be respectful of the other person and be honest and open. Thank you very much for listening. See you in the next lesson.